Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Zatu's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use HubStub time tracking software. So this is going to be a tutorial for employees. But before we start, hurry up and check out our data software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we start using HubStub here? Well, the first thing you need to do here is we need to actually create an account. So first things first, go to hubstaff.com. And usually you have the option to basically try this for free. So just click on free 14 day trial here. So from here, we just need to provide the following details that includes your first name, last name, work email, and a password. Now, once you've created your account on the next pages, you will have the option to either request access or create your own company. So in this case, typically if a company already have their own uh, project or organization set up, typically they just need to invite you. So in this case, for example, I actually, I actually have received an invitation here, which is going to be the following. So in this case, just look for hub stuff here. Go ahead and click on accept invite. And that would actually accept your inv the invitation that they sent you and basically you'll be able to join them. Now in this case, just click on accept invite here. And from here, again, just provide all the entire details and create your password and just click on create account. Now it's going to start creating your account here. It's going to redirect you once your account has been successfully created and you've just joined the actual project. So let's just wait for it to fully load up. And as you can see, we are now inside Hubstuff here. So there's going to be a lot of things that you could do here and change a few things and even uh, change a few things in the project section. So let's go ahead and start discussing those. So in this case, the first thing you need to do here is you first need to inform the invite or the person that actually invited you into the project that you've accepted the invite and uh, you could go ahead and request them to add them or add you into the actual teams that you'll be uh, working with. Now, in this case, I'll, uh, we'll be waiting for our account to be added on a team here before we will be able to proceed because there are going to be some required information and things here before we could actually start uh, doing things here. So first thing that you'll see here is going to be your dashboard. So your dashboard here contains different information about general ideas or general information about your account or what's the current status of a project or your current performance. So that includes the weekly activities, work this week, how many a time you actually worked that week, the earn this week. So depending on the um, per hour rate that you've they've actually assigned to you, you should be able to see the current earnings that you might earn this week. We also have the project works on the recent activities activities and a lot more. So basically your dashboard contains the general information regarding yourself. So you'll be able to view different things like for example, information to do's. So again, you should be able to see general ideas or uh, details that you need to know for you to get started. Now, by the way, the great thing about the dashboard for HubStop here is you actually have the option to manage the widgets. So you see here. So for example, let's go and click on manage widgets and you could basically remove a few things. Like for example, if you want to remove the option that says projects worked, you could go and click on it. As you can see, projects work is now removed. But if you want to add them, you could go and click on it again. Now, if you want to add a different widget here, like for example, you want to add the today's activity, you could go ahead and add it in here and you should be able to add that specific widget. So it will give you more information. So basically, you could basically um, manage or control what you see on your dashboard, which is something really cool that not all apps actually offer. Now, next is going to be your timesheet. Now, your timesheet here would contain different times that you work. So maybe like, for example, you work from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. You should be able to see it in here as well. Now, you also have the option to change the actual date when you actually worked here. You could view it in here and, and even change where uh, the view that you have right now. So currently, it's on the daily or the day that you work. You could change this to weekly and even change this to calendar if you want to. Now, in this case, if you want to add a time manually for yours, you could go and click on add time at the top right here. And you could basically to choose what the to do is, what project is it. For example, we have project one here. We have the to do scrape software, which is assigned to us. And we have the option to change the time as well. So how long you actually work on it. 
Now in this case, you could go ahead and build uh, the billable here if it's actually billable and choose uh, whatever option here. Like for example, use a wrong uh, task project here to uh, basically manage or add your, your time here. But in this case, adding a time here manually is subject for approval. So you might need to ask your manager or your boss first if you're going to add a, a uh, certain time in here because they'll be approving this first. Now you might be wondering, what is the automatic time capture here? Now the thing here is you can use the time capture or the timer at the top left here. And from here you could choose which project they want to time it. For example, the to do, what the to do is going to be. And from here you could go ahead and just click on the play button. It's going to start timing you. Which in this case, uh, you could go ahead and just start working whenever the timer is working. But it is actually recommended that you install the actual app. Because the actual app would actually take screenshots and actually manage or view what websites and what different URLs that you're visiting. Which is sometimes going to be really important and th the company itself or your employer might actually request you to do. Now, for you to actually download the app, you can go ahead and click on the download app at the top section. You can go ahead and click on it. And from here, either choose desktop, mobile, or extensions here. So you can go and choose desktop, click on download, and just follow the on-screen steps for you to download the actual app. Now, what are the other things that we could view here? So one of, another thing that you could do here is going to be the activity section. By the way, going back, you also have the ti uh, timesheets approvals here. So these are going to be the approve uh, time for your, uh, for example, you added a time on your timesheet. This is where the approved time is going to appear. But then again, this should be set up by your employer or the manager first. Now, activity here could, could contain screenshots for your project, how uh, many times you've worked on it and whatnot. So in this case, uh, information regarding your activities. Now, you also have the apps here, so different apps that you've actually uh, visited or used uh, during your work hours and URLs that you visited as well when you're currently working. So again, remember to be careful and not visit uh, other websites or URLs or use other apps whenever you're working. Now, your company will be tracking everything that you'll be doing here, so be careful out there. Now, another thing here is going to be Insight. So inside gives you ideas on how to boost a team's productivity. So basically from the name itself, insights give you an insight on how your team is currently performing. Now it should be set up by your organization. So you need, you don't need to worry about this one. Also map contains different, uh, a time like for example if a team is on a different location they should appear in here and they'll be able to basically manage or see where their current employee is currently working we also have project management here which includes the projects they have right now which projects you're currently a uh, member of the to do's of uh, different uh, tasks that was that is assigned to you as you can see right now this project is or these this to do is currently assigned to me so this should be assigned by a manager if you have those if you have one. Now, you should also be able to see the calendar section here, which includes schedules and time off requests. Schedules will contain your schedule. So for example, if you're working Monday to Friday, you should be able to see it in here. And also if you want to request a time off, time off you should be able to click on the actions at the top right here and choose to uh, sh say add time off request, which in this case, you will be requesting a time off. Just choose the uh, time span, the policy here, and uh, the reason for it. But then again, your organization should set, set this up first before you're able to actually use it. Now, I also have reports here, but from the name itself, you have the option to basically view reports regarding your project, your activities, your timesheet. So whatever you need here, this is where you'll be, you'll be able to view it. Now, teams here would contain from the name itself, teams right now. So currently, uh, this organization has only one team here and uh, the number of pro uh, members and the number of projects it currently has. So just give you some information on how to actually uh, view them. Now, if you're a organization owner or a manager, you should be able to add teams here and add uh, different members on it. So yeah, you also have financials here, which uh, from name itself is going to be financials. Like for example, your invoices that you got. So if you want to uh, create a new invoice here, you should be able to create one so that you'll be able to bill your client or your boss. And you also have the op option to export if you have any other um, if you have any details in here and basically print them if you if you need to. Now you should also be able to see the outstanding balance here and the paid balance here which shows you the current uh, amount that 
that has been uh, that has been uh, released to you. Also have expenses, which in this case, from the name of the self, like for example, uh, it's for travel expenses. You can go ahead and add them in here. And from here, you could choose which category, like car, equipment, fees, and whatnot. So we all know that sometimes we need to travel. So this is how you actually uh, add expenses or uh, bill your company regarding the, the, uh, the amount that you've actually spent for work. So yeah, so you could go ahead and fill out all the details here. Click on save and basically um, build them. And from then on, they should be able to approve them if uh, they actually approve that. But yeah, so those are the basics and using hub stuff here. So using the application itself is actually pretty easy. You just need to familiarize yourself first with how to use it. But it's actually uh, quite common. So if you use other apps out there, it's quite similar. But yeah, so hopefully this video was able to help you. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.